Russ. <laughs> yeah, I'm back out on the road again. So I, uh, I just finished doing a, a ride with the Deer Step Through 20. Dropped that bike off and picked up this one. Yep. So um, as I mentioned, I'm trying to lower the batteries on some of these bikes. And uh, this one's gonna be a short one because um, I think this one has a little bit more battery, uh, a little less battery than I originally thought it would. I thought this was fully charged, but it's teeter-tottering between four out of five bars. So yeah, we'll do a short, short ride today. Finish this one off. So we're gonna hang around this general area because I gotta still ride all the way back to home because I always start the videos not at my home, but at the same exact spots, <laughs> which is not near my home. But, uh, so I got, I got that distance to ride too, to bring it back. So I uh, decided to take this one out. This is the 48 volt Jaguar Rundy. And uh, th this bike still has plenty of pep. Hills, not so much so compared to the 52 volt version of it, but on standard uh, everyday riding area, I don't think you tell, tell the difference. It's pretty much the same. At least for me, that's what I kind of noticed. It seems to be about the same. So what time is it now? 2.34. So I have the same stuff on I had yesterday on. Because it is the same day for me. It's just, uh, half gloves. Uh, winter jacket. ex needle helmet with a liner. Yeah, the liner's kind of nice. I kind of like it. And... Um, covering my ears so my ears are not cold or anything yeah that's pretty good now this handlebar is higher than what's on the deer 20 so you probably see the handlebars a little more now than you did on the last video the day before and uh, I didn't adjust anything in terms of the camera angle um, let me grab the camera here straighten it out make sure it's straight it's in the same position on my chest, but if you see more of the handlebars, because the handlebars on many of these folding bikes stick up a lot higher. It's got a tall uh, handlebar stem, right? So those things fold down, but they stand up higher. So you don't lean over quite as much on a bike like this. So even though it's only a 20 inch bike, 20 inch wheel bike, yeah, you sit pretty, pretty upright. Yeah. dog was looking at me the dogs are always looking at me trying to decide should I go after that guy or not <laughs> should I bark at him should I chase after him what should I do he was just looking at me but he didn't do anything so I'm looking at the mileage on this bike 26 miles that's all I put on this bike <laughs> since the review 26 miles. Yeah, some of the bikes have not gotten uh, lots of uh, ride time. Uh, maybe we should turn here. Let's let's take a let's take a right. Yeah, have not gotten that much ride time. Uh, there's been so many bikes that have come in, and uh, some bikes I take out more often than others. But the Jaguar Rundy has been a, a mainstay for us. Uh, but it was the 52-volt uh, versions, you know, the original ones that they gave me. Uh, we use that quite a bit, actually. When, when Mrs. Wright and I go out and go places, we usually take those two bikes because it's easier to, to transport those bikes than it is the heavier bikes. So I prefer to have those bikes, you know, when we go on our trips. Of course, Mrs. Wright has always been saying she wanted a bigger bike to ride on the trips. But, uh, you know, she was looking at the, you know, the Pedego is the one that she usually rides, you know, around here. And she says, why can't I take the Pedego? Let's turn here. And uh, I says, well, you could if you want, um, but it's less nimble. She feels that she's okay with it, whatever. But uh, she, she uh, she, she started to realize that the Pedego only goes 20 miles an hour. And so she said to me, she says, 
I wonder if this bike doesn't go any faster than this. I go, that's because it's a true class, class two bike. <laughs> it's not gonna go faster than 20 miles per hour with the, with the assists on it. I mean, you could go faster if you wanna pedal harder, you know, but the, the motor's not gonna assist you past 20 miles per hour. She goes, well, even the Jaguar Rundy goes faster. I go, well, that's because the Jaguar Rundy can do 24 miles an hour. <laughs> if, if you use a throttle or if you use the pedaling, of course, she pedals all the time. I said, but you're getting pedal assist all the way up to uh, 24 miles an hour. So even at four miles an hour, she noticed the difference. And she was like, hmm, maybe we should just take the Jaguar Rundy then. <laughs> See, even she's gotten used to going past 20 miles an hour, and, and that's through pedaling. So she very rarely uses the throttle. She uses the throttle just to get started, which a lot of us do. You know, it kind of gets the bike moving, and then she lets off on the throttle, and then she pedals the rest of the way. And that's just how she's always ridden. She's always pedaling, as we know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as much as she says that she prefers to have a bigger wheel bike, you know, the, the ability to only go to 20 kind of put her back down and says, okay, forget it. Let's take the other bike. <laughs> yep. See, this is what happens, you know. Uh, you get used to a certain speed or a certain performance, and then you go, how come the other bike doesn't do it? Ah, well, <laughs> it wasn't designed to do it. It was designed to be a pure class 2 bike according to the letter of the law. So, yeah, some of the bikes skirt the issue, as you know. So, Jaguar Rundy is technically considered a class two bike, but yeah, that means you should only go to 20, but hey, I could unlock it to 24, and I did that. <laughs> so, I mean, if I, if I brought it back down to the original 20, then yeah, she would say, yeah, those two bikes are the same, give me the pe pedigo then, because she, she wants that, that taller and larger wheels and everything. But now she's used to the 24 miles an hour. I, you know, I, I sometimes wonder if I gave her um, a bike that did 28 miles an hour, <laughs> would she uh, would she say that, uh, hey, how come this thing only does 24? <laughs> this is what you're used to, that's all. It's all a matter of what you're used to. Like here, right now, I'm, I'm, um, I'm cruise controlling at 19.5 uh, miles per hour, according to, the, according to the bike. As we know, many of these bikes, um, uh, let's turn here, um, the speedometers may be off, it may not be perfectly set right. Sometimes when you have um, a GPS speedometer going or you have something else going, sometimes it may not match what the bike actually tells you it's, it's doing. I always wonder about that, you know, Usually when it's off, it's always saying that it's going faster than it really is. I wonder if they do that on purpose <laughs> to make it look like, oh, look, our bike goes faster, but it really doesn't. So really when it says 24, is it really doing 24? It might actually be doing 22, right? We don't know. Don't really know. Yeah, so we're just riding neighborhoods around here. We, we don't go down this way that often. So uh, let's, let's take it down for a little. I know that uh, there's certain parts of this area as we go further down, we run into a whole bunch of cul-de-sacs and, and uh, you can't get out of it and all that type of thing. You can't find a way out. It's usually down this way. This is why I usually don't come down this, this direction. Uh, but since we're just like uh, riding around, We're just riding around, let's just take it. Let's take it and go. Let's go straight ahead. Yeah, fall colors are happening. Look at some of these trees. Uh, yeah, red leaves, red and yellow leaves. It's starting to happen. Some trees, they seem to uh, be the first to come down and all other trees are like hanging on forever. Some trees, they don't even give up their leaves. I mean, I've seen through the winter, the things got leaves all over the tree still, it never comes down. 
makes you wonder. They are also starting a leaf collection pretty soon too. So they want you to move your leaves to the street. Well, our leaves haven't come down yet. So uh, there's nothing to move. So we will miss the first collection because there's nothing to collect. Okay, it's a dead end over there. We're gonna turn around. No cars, we're gonna U-turn it. I don't really like doing the U-turns as you know, but a little easier to do with these little 20 inch wheels than it is with the big wheels. You turn it, head back. So I'm just keeping my eye on the battery gauge, just showing four out of five. It didn't start out with a fully charged battery. So I think this one might be done. So we'll be heading back towards the house. Yeah, I said it's gonna be a shorter ride today anyway, because of that. Usually when I do the, um, the draining of the batteries, not totally draining, okay, 70% or so. When I, uh, when I drop it down, I, I'm usually using uh, the throttle. Because it'll drain it down faster with the throttle than if you were pedaling. But then again, I'm usually using the throttle anyway <laughs> when I'm on camera with you guys. So, the thing is, too, with with a Jaguar Rundi and some of the other bikes, you know, that have the cruise control, it's it's a lot easier. I mean, you don't you don't have to worry about doing anything as far as um, thinking about how fast or how slow you're going or anything. It's it's a consistent speed set up for you, and you just keep riding, you just keep moving right past the stop signs. <laughs> now I look around, okay? If there's something there, I do stop, as you know. But uh, yeah, the letter of the law, you gotta stop, but no, it's too hard for me, sorry. Now today's a, a nice day, yeah, uh, compared to a couple days ago. As you know, I was freezing. I was trying to try my best to get home. Yeah, I didn't even want to be out. It was it was just too cold. You know, the the, the wind was cutting right through that sweatshirt that I had on. You know, now I got the winter jacket on. It's, it's no problem then. But it was cutting through the sweatshirt. I had no liner on my helmet. My ears were getting a little chilly. I had half gloves, and it was getting cold on that too. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll turn here since there's a car there. Um, let's go down the street. Have we ever come down this street? Let's come down this way. Yeah, I just wanted to get home. That's pretty bad when you're on the bike ride and you just, the only thing you can think of is how long does it take to get home. <laughs> that's not that's not any fun, right? Yeah, you got to bundle up. I mean, I actually look like I'm over bundled up, but people don't realize that the wind blowing up against you makes a big difference. You hear that? That's a dog pulling the, the, the owner, trying to get to me. <laughs> he was a good uh, uh, quarter block away. <laughs> he saw me, and he's, just, he's barking, trying to get me. He's, I could see him pulling on the leash, trying to get towards me. <laughs> They're always trying to get me, I tell you. One day, somebody's not gonna be able to control that dog and is gonna be coming after me. Then what do I do? Yep, then what do you do? Oh well, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me as I'm bringing this bike level down. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'll talk to you guys next time.